it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today we're going to be looking at the latest launch from Spellbinders and these are the Die Delights and it's also just one Inspire that I purchased separately to show you as well and the latest Die Delights I think are a little bit of a departure from what I've seen um, in design terms from Spellbinders before and I think they're really really pretty so and really just really cute as well some of them which is nice so I thought I would share with you these collections and see what you think as well okay so dealing with the kind of odd one first which is this um, Inspire by Spellbinders this is called Birds on the Wire and I just thought this was a really nice design it just really sort of I don't know it was just the simplicity of it I really found appealing and I thought it would work for all sorts of different things um, you know friendship romance even sympathy if you get your colors done well I would say and I think that the Inspire collection is kind of between your die delight size and your regular size die um, kind of a more middling size you can see kind of roughly by putting it against my hand roughly what the sizing is of the actual die itself and they seem a really nice collection I've looked through this a, a whole set of them and they've got some really nice designs as I say this just picked out one for the moment um, just to have a look and see what they were like and I, I really like the look of it so I may well go and get some more of these and if I do I will share them with you of course so I think that's just a really nice die that one I think we could do a lot with that okay so then the next that I had now these came as collections but this is kind of like a kind of nature sort of sort of collection I guess um, but first of all I think the first thing we need to know is about the new packaging now it's come in this as you can see if you look at this normal packaging the kind of plastic um, packaging where you can see through see your die on the back you can see very clearly what the design is on the front it shows you exactly what it's going to look like this new packaging um, I'm not sure it's as clear on this case you can see the design quite well here but on some of them on their example card it's not so clear some of the um, design is is covered up in the in the picture or they haven't got all of the dye sh showing because it might have several pieces to it um, ex for example so that's not all together clear also the actual picture where it's it's very small I mean on the camera you can probably see it clearer than I can but when I put the actual picture of the pattern next to my fingernail you can see it's a, a very small example of the actual design and then the the actual sort of larger size image of the die which I'm assuming is kind of meant to be life size um, we'll check that in a minute when I pop it out of the packaging it um, it hasn't got all of it there so it's not I don't I have to say I'm not that impressed with the new packaging um, and then you've just got this where it pops open and flaps open and you've got all your different instructions as usual on there and then you just can tip the die out which is fine um, I know a lot of people and I've been changing over but I was in the past using the packaging as a good way of storing and being able to see the actual die was one of the things that was really helpful for me and having a really good design on the front was also helpful uh, when I now use this packaging because I still use this packaging here for my new system which I will share with you when I actually finish putting it together but I'm using this section cutting it and using that to show how it looks you're not going to be able to do that with this and so that's going to be a bit of a shame now uh, is that meant to be life size yes so that's um, showing you I guess how big it is so I guess and I'm assuming that this is the die delight sorry that's the actual die itself um, and I'm assuming this is the die delights now I don't know if they've changed the packaging uh, for the regular dies I don't know if we've had a launch on regular dies at the moment uh, or, or comp recent launch on the regular dies at the moment so I'm not sure what the packaging situation is on there but I mean it looks really neat and tidy I can see that you know that it's good in that sense and it's it is 
a little bit more compact and I imagine it's much more cost effective for them because it's just card, it's almost certainly more ecologically friendly etc. That said I think probably quite a lot of us made use of the acetate on these packagings anyway with our cards etc because it was a really good acetate so in that sense I'm sure a lot of us were still being quite green anyway but um, yeah I'm not I'm not sure I'm convinced by the packaging but you know we'll see um, so anyway that's this one which is I have to bring it so close so you can try and see what the design is there we go so it's just that lovely little kind of um, well, it's called a floral fence. That's exactly what I was going to say. It's, such, it's a lovely little florally fence. <laughs> that's what they called it. So that's really cute. I mean, I love, I do love the dyes, don't get me wrong. So in this same collection, um, we've now got um, this one here, which is called Delightful Tree. This is very similar, I think, to their butterfly tree, except for it's got like little birds and things but it's the same kind of idea so maybe if you've got the butterfly tree that you if you're not buying it's a collection you might find you if you're kind of on a budget that this would be one that you could perhaps miss out um, because it's quite a similar look and you can see it's just got the little birds I mean it's got a cute little bird house there okay let's just open this up and take all the little dies out we've got them all out yeah and it comes with again this is the other thing it's in this kind of packaging where it's just stuck down and it strikes me with these little teeny weeny dies again look at the size of them they're tiny that would be so very easy once this sticky gets old if you're not putting the packet you know the dies somewhere else in some other way then they're going to be very easy to lose i would suggest um, I know it's like a little envelope, but I can see these easily tipping out the top. Um, so anyway, um, as you can tell, I'm not that enamoured of it, really. But um, here's the the little birds and the birdhouse and the tree. And I mean, again, the dyes are gorgeous. Um, and then we've got another tiny little bird. They really are wee. And... Um, this gorgeous tree. I always think they look amazing even like that but then when you start cutting them they look incredible. And then we've got, this is called Twigs Unite. So basically it's kind of like um, two kind of twiggy autumny trees things that sort of meet in the middle with an arch and easily put like a sentiment as they've done in this card here in the middle there which is really really pretty and effective. So let's pop that one out and show you because I think it's nice to see the actual dye. Okay. And then we've got the next one is this one here which is called Framed Floral. And again, these are kind of, again, these kind of all have that theme of being framed. Now, this one, for example, is they've shown it this way up but it also they've shown it this way vertically here but on their card they've done it as a horizontal design so clearly you could use that both directions and that the flowers are not so specific I think it looks like you could get away with it either way um, I'm getting you to see there so that's really sweet now obviously it's no longer a secret about my website so what I will do as once it's launched I will cut out some of these and put photographs on on my website on my blog posts there for that for you to have a look at so you can see what they look like when they're cut because I think that looks quite different now this one is a sentiment to see what these are and these are really um, nice sentiments but again they're not like your most obvious ones that you would think of um, we've got hello friend um, with love and thank you okay. nice nice font nice and clear um, and as I say I'll post some pictures and this is I think what they call their woodland set and so the first ones that we've got here is our dragon delight no oh yes and these are dragonflies so 
can really uh, you've got here is your layering effect which is nice you've got your lacy dragonfly and your more solid one but of course you can use these separately so this gives you three options effectively which is really good and they're a really nice size um, considering they're a dye delight they're actually almost normal size I would say um, dye they seem quite a good size so um, I think they're going to look really nice it's just a nice added embellishment on the card um, this one a bit unusual this is a pheasant and I think that looks really nice. Again, with this, I reckon you could get away with making that into a peacock. If you cut that out several times with lots of different colours, or if you used um, white card and then coloured it with your markers or something, um, I'm sure you could. I think once you colour it in, it will be close enough for it not to be a problem. So I think that's a really nice one. This one I think is adorable. This is your Foxy. That's what it's called, I'm not saying it like that. It is called Foxy. And there he is. I think he definitely looks like a he. And there it is on the card when it's cut out. So you can see it's really more slender looking than it looks on the die itself. And then the last one, I think, was almost the reason I wanted to get the set, to be honest, because it was so adorable, is our little hedgehog. Isn't that just too cute? and this little face there we go isn't that absolutely adorable <laughs> so that's that set um and this is their fairies set which i think is very unusual i don't think i've seen them do anything like this before so the first one we've got is fairy ariana which is that one there and you get this little wand as well as the fairy herself so just be careful again when you open this just be careful because it's a very small piece and you've got the die of the fairy and then you've got this small little wand and they all come with that so i guess if you get the set you've got a chance if you do lose one you've still got two more <laughs> um so i think that's i love these fairies i think they're absolutely adorable you can make gorgeous card with all of them actually I think with all three of them together because um, I'll show you at the end they they face actually they don't quite I'm thinking they face opposites but they don't this is fairy Sierra and that's her I think she's beautiful I do like her I think she's one of my favorites this one. actually they're all oh you see look I just ripped that I just burst that open and I've ripped it already and now that's going to be at risk of that coming out, that little one. So I'm going to have to stick that down with some tape. Okay, that's my fairy there. And obviously the wand again, the same. So I think that's... And again, that's a good size. I mean, they're, they're not small dies. And normally the die delights seem a lot smaller to me. Um, and then finally, we've got Fairy Callie. There she is. And that's a very pretty one she's got gorgeous wings i said actually sorry i said that a wand came with all of them but it doesn't come with this one this one's just to die herself and uh, there she is she's got gorgeous wings so that's our fairy set now what i was thinking was that these two were opposite facing opposite so you could have one each end and reverse it but you could still do that i think because if you put the card in so that it was one was wrong side down and one was right right side up or whatever so you reversed your cardstock you would then when you flipped the card over it would be facing the other way so you could have that and then this one is facing forward so you could have these sort of as a little set along a card if you were sort of fiddled around just a little bit and I don't think it's much of a fiddle Okay, so that's the latest collections anyway from the Spellbinders Die Delights. Um, I think, as I say, I really think they're really pretty and, and they seem a little bit different to some that we've seen before. They're sort of specific characters and, um, I mean, obviously the ones with the trees and things are perhaps a little bit more down their usual route. But the kind of actual 
animals and, and the fairies seem a little bit different to what we've seen from them for a while and I think that's really nice and I think they I felt when I saw them I felt like oh yeah I've got to have these they're really sort of um were quite exciting to see I think and really nice to see and uh, I couldn't wait for them to arrive and now they've arrived I'm so pleased with them apart from the packaging um so I'd be interested to see if anybody else has got any of these yet and what they think of them and if you haven't what you think of what you've seen anyway uh in the meantime I'd love it if you've enjoyed this if you could share it and thumbs up it and all the other good stuff that you need to do and most of all I'd love if you left a comment because I do love to hear from you all right thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the week with the launch so I hope you'll be there for that as well can't wait I'm so excited I hope you are excited about that as well all right everyone see you then bye